Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm back after almost a year without posting. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm back with some cute lace nails for Valentine's Day. This design is definitely on the simple side if you're familiar with stamping, but even if you're not, I find that it's probably really easy to follow along with. So here's what you'll need to get started. The classic OPI bubble bath as the base. A stamping polish. I'm using this one from What's Up Polish. A matte top coat. Uh, my favorite is Sally Hansen Big Matte. A liquid latex for easy cleanup. I'm using Manny Defender from Ellison Organics, which is now Lantern and Wren. This is probably like over three years old, I think. I'm not even sure, but it's held up incredibly well. Now, this is totally optional if you want to use polish instead, but I'm using white acrylic paint, and I will explain why once we get to that step. I also will be using this squishy stamper that is literally so ancient, but it is by far my favorite one that I own to date. I cannot find another one that is as squishy or picks up the images as well. You will also need a thin brush. Mine is called Berry Wine from Winstona, which I picked up on Amazon. I'm also using this fairly new all lace stamping plate from Clear Jelly Stamper. I'm sorry it's hard to see some of the images because of all the reflection, but I picked this up recently at Lantern and Wren. I'm starting off by applying two coats of bubble bath from OPI. This is meant to be a very sheer polish to really give you a nude vibe without actually, you know, having bare nails. But for the purpose of this lace design, the sheer look is exactly what we need. So it's completely okay to have visible nail lines after two coats. Next, we are going to apply our liquid latex around our nail in order to have just an easier time cleaning up after we do the stamping. Like I mentioned before, this particular bottle, I have to say must be like two years old at least, and it's held up incredibly well. Like I'm so mind blown that it wasn't dried up because I had so many in my drawer from back in the day that were just pretty much a bottle of goop. <laughs> so this speaks amazingly well about this brand. Now it's time for the stamping. And I chose this fishnet design from the plate. A lot of the other patterns were simply too busy for the next step of this design. Now when you're picking up the stamper and placing it on your nail, it's important to roll down from one side and go back the same way you went in. Too much back and forth with the stamper can cause the lines in the image to blur. Now it's time to peel off your liquid latex and as you can see, I pretty much have no cleanup to do. Now it's time to create the border around our nail. This is where I chose to use acrylic paint instead of nail polish. Uh, this is simply because I felt like it gave me better control on how I wanted the lines to be. With polish, I found that I was doing the lines way too thick and the end result was more boxed in and cluttered than I had hoped this design would turn out. I'm working very slowly as I go around my nail and in between strokes, I'm making sure to wipe my brush so that it doesn't build up a lot of paint and again, cause the lines to be too thick.
it's time to seal off our design with the top coat. While I am using a matte top coat at the end, I am first going in with a glossy top coat so that it doesn't smudge any of the stamping. And that is it for our first nail art look for Valentine's Day 2021. What do you think? I have done a few lace designs over the years, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. I love the simple look of the lines, plus the matte top coat is the perfect finishing touch. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure to thumbs up this video as it helps me out a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you later. Bye!